Hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today, we are cleaning up and polishing up a trailer because Cameron and I picked up this 16 foot enclosed trailer for a really good price. And That's not 16 feet. Yeah, it is. It's 16 foot long, seven foot wide. And we are planning on doing a flip on this trailer. So we're going to see what we can make of it and shine up the fenders, shine up the, the black on it, kind of repair a few things, get the brakes working good, the lights working good. So uh, we'll take you along for the ride. So we got to bend that back, put, screw in that, reattach that. I may... How do we get in there? We'll, I'll show you. I may cover this with a little piece of diamond plate, kind of tie it in with the design, maybe. We'll see. But I want to patch that up. It's hot. Is that not hot? Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I've got a couple of the ceiling panels loose and hanging down, so make sure we fix that up. And there's a tire in here. Tire in here. Yep, spare tire. All right, let's go. And to, they're bungee strapped. Let's go to the back. <laughs> Fix that up. It's coming out of its track. Put some nails or screws in that. The tires are holding there good, and they're good tread. They're not weather cracked. I hear you, Pox. We'll feed you in a minute. So we'll just. No. Clean them up, and maybe paint the wheels. Uh, on the back, it looks like maybe we're missing one grease fitting. We got one there, we're missing one grease fitting there, so we'll put a grease fitting on it. Spray that up. On this side, fenders have a couple of little dents and need some pretty serious polishing. So we get those working. It's got a ladder rack on the side I may take off. I'm not sure. Um, yeah overall it's in pretty good shape but we're going to be able to make a nice trailer out of it my animals are all standing here watching because it's feeding time so i'm gonna feed them first and then we're gonna get the pressure washer out get it fired up and we'll get this thing hosed off Well, I was hoping she would shine up a little better with the pressure washer, but easy money ain't always easy money. So we probably gonna put a buffer to it and try to get her shined up. It don't look too bad though. So I wanted to just do a little test pass because I've been thinking about buying the Cobalt 24 volt buffer. And this pretty well seals the deal because I can definitely make my money back on buffing this trailer. So I'm gonna buy that buffer. Uh, but you can see just an enormous difference in the finish. So it's gonna be a whole lot shinier, nice looking trailer. It's gonna take that chalkiness off of it, make it look like a new trailer. So. Yep, I just kind of doing a little test run. We had a uh, headlight buffing set here, and so I thought I'd throw a little buffing compound on it and test it, and yeah, pretty happy with that. So, I'm gonna pick me up a buffer tomorrow. All right, so we got the thing washed up, and we've got a parts list of things we need to pick up and some tools we're gonna need to get her shined up. So, we'll go get those things gathered up, and we'll get back to work. All right, so we got our cobalt buffer. Bring that thing over here real quick. We went halvesies. 24 volt random orbital six inch buffer. So we'll see what this thing's made of. I actually didn't know it was random orbital and you can't lock it into total spin mode, which is what I'm used to using. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna work, but we're about to find out. So hit it.
Well, the stencil thing wasn't going to work. So. How's that working? Mm -hmm. Shine. All right, well, she looks a lot better, but it started raining on us, which messes with my paint and messes with his buffing. So we'll have to hit it again another day when it dries out. Back at it. It's decent weather this afternoon, so we'll get back to buffing. So that's the difference the buffer's making. Worth doing in my opinion. All right, well, we're still not done. I got the whole other side to do and the back to do, but I can tell she's gonna look nice now. Wheels are looking pretty good. They're not perfect. They had some rust and so there's some flaking, but that we just kind of painted over, you know, just make it look decent. But. Uh, you know, polished up the fenders, got all the pieces of trim that were coming loose, screwed back in. Um, yeah, getting her shined up. It's gonna be a nice trailer. Well, if you'll notice, my box trailer's gone. And I kind of messed up because I didn't get any footage of how it all went down, but well, I sold it that quick. I didn't even finish buffing it. Uh, but we uh, more than doubled our money. So it worked out pretty good. Me and me and Cameron were pretty excited. Our investment turned out pretty good. So uh, we each made us a little bit of money. Mine was for my uh, dirt bike fund, so I can get me a dirt bike to ride with Caden. And Cameron is buying coilovers for his Miata. So all worked out pretty good. But sorry, I didn't get to show you how all that deal went down. I just didn't have the camera handy when it when it happened. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day. Mm -hmm.